What's up, my beautiful friends? Another awesome day here in Island Park. We got a day full of activities. Uh, and a lot of times uh, you might see me out there on vacation a lot or celebrating life and experiencing the outdoors or being a, a present often with my kids. Uh, but one of the things I want you guys to understand, uh, Mike and I were having this conversation last night, is, and it's, it's the same with his son, the same with me and my five kids. My kids know that we have the life that we have because I stay so consistent in my work and in my discipline, in my daily work activities. So he was, he was sharing with me how he shares that to his, with his son, Mikey, when he's uh, there. They go to uh, over to Asia quite often and they travel the world, they go on mini cruises, uh, but they, when they are there, uh, one of the examples was Thailand. They work a solid five, six hours uh, I think they do it in the evening over there because it's morning over here, I think is what he was telling me. But the same thing rings true here. Like like today, we're gonna go out to Wade Lake. Uh, we're gonna go swimming. We're gonna go um, on a drive. We went on an ATV ride yesterday. Look at this guy. Uh, we're gonna go to Mesa Falls. There's a hike we wanna do alongside uh, an incredible river. Uh, but what I do most is usually when the kids the go to bed hours. at night, I spend about 45 minutes uh, doing a few activities, planning for the next day. Uh, the boys are sleeping still right now. It's like 9.30 a.m. And I get up at 6.30 a.m. and I do my routine. And I complete every single task I have on my to-do list um, as they get up. And, and they get up and they see me, for example, my my 11-year-old son woke up and I was in the middle of my body lava workout doing week three, day five compound. And so he sees me doing my workout. Uh, he knows that I was up early uh, doing my work. And I do that every single time when we're traveling, when we see here, we're not just on vacation for five days. Yes, we have about 12 hours of daylight once I get done with my work to go explore. But I think, and I think that's a misconception that you might see on social media quite often is you see Scotty and Gabby and the kids are out kayaking again today, or they're out on the boat in the middle of the week, or they're at the cabin for five days straight. Or, you know, this past weekend I was in Yellowstone with my father-in-law every Almost every single day, six days a week, I wake up and I do my morning routine and I knock it out. And the cool thing about this business is it doesn't take a lot of time. I built this business when I was working 12 hour work days and I had three girls under the age of five that I would take care of my, by myself because my wife worked nights. So I'd get home at 5 p.m. She would leave at 3 p.m. I would get the kids from the babysitter and I would take care of them. And when I would put them to bed at 8.30, I would build my business. I would do the two to three hours and then I would be done by the time God we got home from work so we could go to bed and wake up and repeat. So with that being said, I want you to understand when you're watching someone on social media that's living uh, this life, doing tons of activities, uh, I want you to understand that they're most likely working and they're working in the dark, they're working late at night, they're working in the morning or whatever that might be. I was having a, another conversation with Mike yesterday. We walked out and set some trail cameras for my archery hunt season. And I was explaining to him, I was like, I sit in the dark for an hour and I'm in that tree stand from like 5.30 in the morning until noon sometimes, you know, so I have a solid seven hours or so. And then we come back in the evening from about five until about 8.30 PM. So there's another three and a half, four hours. And I was like, that's like 12 hours during hunting season. When you see me out every single week here for three days in a row, I'm not just hunting every single day. Yes, I'm hunting but I have more time than I have in my normal workday, sitting in the silence, in the trees, uh, as I'm waiting for animals to come in, watching the sunrise, watching the sunset. I'm there working on my business activities from the tree stand. I just silently, I'm writing posts, adding value. I'm reading my personal development books. I'm making new connections. I'm networking on social media. I'm uh, inviting people to my next, uh, challenge group or to, to be a partner with us. I'm doing follow-ups. I'm sending share a cart links for people to enroll. And I do those things consistently every single day. And that's how we have the life that we have. It's 13 years of massive consistency. I'm not the most, uh, I'm not the most handsome out there. I'm not the, I'm not the most talented. I'm not the most extroverted uh, people person that you might see, but I am extremely uh, consistent. And uh, since we're up here in, in Island Park and I went to Yellowstone to see Old Faithful last week, it gives me the example of Old, Fa Old Faithful. People come from all over the world to see Old Faithful. Why? 
because it, they can count on it. They know that it will show up and it will do its eruption with consistency. And that's why people come to see it. So my question to you is, if you're striving to build something in your life, can you be counted on? Can you be consistent? And people know that they can count on you and that you will show up. There's nothing more annoying than someone that you can't count on. So make sure that if you're building a business or you're striving to improve your marriage and your relationship with your kids, that you become that person that is reliable like Old Faithful.